you just have to love how everything gets so fucked up. I tried doing a video last night, couldn't do it because YouTube had this thing. Well, we're only in read-only mode, and you could go upload with the video, but we won't be able to process it. Well, that shot that idea. So here I am tonight. No sooner get about a minute or two into it, and the damn fucker locks up on me. So take two. Ah. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't distract what I was going to talk about, uh, which is basically the aftermath of the Redskins fucking up on Sunday. I'll get this out of the way right now. This was a complete and total fuck up. I mean, you watch the defense quit. That's all you need to know about what happened Sunday. The defense quit. And there's an aftermath to it, which is something that's not completely unexpected for me. It's just a little delayed. But I'll get to that later. I'll get the one and get get to do a story here. Was unexpected. Uh, well, after I had finished watching this fuck up from the Redskins, I flipped the dial. Uh, some strange reason that was flipping. I think it's ESPN was watching you know the expanded Sports Center where they do football highlights. I see this crawl on the bottom of the screen says, Nationals have agreed to a deal with Jason Worth, seven years, $126 million. And I'm like, mm hmm? I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Something doesn't quite sound right. No, it's true. <laughs> I have to be completely honest and say this. You know, when... Jason Worth went into free agency. I kind of harbored something in the back of my mind. I was thinking, well, it would be fun if he actually did sign with the Nationals. I didn't think too much of it. And, and, and most everybody else was of the same opinion. You didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. I don't think anybody did. But lo and behold, this was what happened. You know, you no know, sooner, you know, fucked up. This situation with Adam Dunn, where he signs with the White Sox and all that. No sooner did the learners fuck that up, and suddenly this happens, and I'm like, mm. well, I am not the only one that is still in shock some, I don't know, 48 hours later. Uh, the entire baseball world is just racking their brain on this because this is now sent a ton load of messages to the baseball world that the learners for some reason want to pony up this money. Now where this money's coming from I do not know. Now they do know Ted Learner made his money in construction and real estate. He made that money, poured that money into buying a baseball team, you know, putting the other group by the Nationals. But you gotta wonder where this money's coming from. This sure as hell isn't coming from television. Not this deal with Bass and not this, you know, not, not the way that television deal works with Peter Angelos, who just extorted. But I can go chapter and verse on that another day. But anyway, the money, you gotta figure 18 mil a year for seven years. And realistically, this is just my opinion. You got Jason work for maybe two years, possibly three, but you never know. All this has done is this has now put Josh Willingham on the trade block. God knows what you're going to do. If you got to trade him, get a, for God's sake, get a pitcher. You know, or get a, you know, get a big, big name first baseman, please. Somehow I was thinking big name pitcher and I watched it today, earlier. Flipping to the MLB network and, you know, they're covering the winter meetings and all that. Now, wherever, where, I think I might have said something a couple of weeks ago to the Nationals to put in some bid for Cliff Lee. Now you start to hear they're putting in a serious offer. Now, you wonder how serious, I don't know. And again, just go back to that question, where's that money coming from? But you got to think, <laughs> and I'm racking my brain on that one. Yeah, imagine what would happen if they really did bring Cliff Lee to Washington. And again, I'm not 
I'm not saying 100% that this will happen. But of course, then again, nobody expected Jason Worth, but anyway. Still, it would, it would send a message. But get it back to this Jason Worth thing for a minute. 126 mil. Now you got all the experts at the MLB Network, and they're going around. And they think, well, this has now sent a message. If you're Carl Crawford, if you're Derek Lee, if you're um, uh, Adrian Beltre, if you're a big name free agent, you're looking at this money of 126 mil that the Nationals are shelling out, and you're thinking, fuck, I could get more. Yeah, I'm telling you that this is sending methods that you just don't know what's going to happen over the winter. I mean, stranger things happen in this world. Okay, some happy, and by the way, on baseball related notes, I'll do two things. One, Derek Jeter re-signed. It's basically three years or with your option. It means he's going to end his career in Yankee pinstripes as well he should. I'll go that far and say it. You can't picture him in anything else, but I saw this funny picture a moment ago. You know, it's, it's, a little, it's like a dummy picture of Derek Jeter in the Red Sox uniform. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Intriguing, but no. Uh... That's one. Uh, two, the Adrian Gonzalez trade from San Diego to the Red Sox. You know, that might help Boston. Never know. Okay, that's the somewhat unexpected story. Now I'll get to the one, hopefully I'll get to one, or I'll, I've got time for it. Of the unexpected. You know by now, this has hit the wire service. Fat Albert Hainsworth. Fuck you. You fucked yourself, pal. I was perusing last night across the internet. I hit Twitter. What happened essentially was Fat Albert was deactivated on Sunday. So he wasn't, he, he wasn't in uniform for the Giants game, which is why the defense quit, you know, one opinion of it. Then he started to hear these stories about what really happened. And apparently he had shown up at practice on Friday hung over. These are the reports. It's like, hung over. The guy goes out and gets drunk. You know, so anyway, Peru's the Twitter, somebody puts it up there. You gotta see Hainsworth. He's on, you know, WJFT Radio Washington. Yeah, for the show they were doing between 7 and 10. See, so the guy got in tune. Like, Hainsworth's on. He's going off on them. I tweeted back. I said, who's paying attention to a drunken asshole like Alfred Hainsworth and who in Redskins Nation gives a fuck anymore? My exact quote. Well, it has now come to a head. Basically, what a fat Albert has told Mike Shanahan, go fuck yourself. I'm not talking to you. So, bye-bye. Your ass is sitting home for the next four weeks for the remainder of the year. Look at the Redskins go five and eleven. It doesn't even matter anymore to me. I mean, what I saw last Sunday. Watch his defense quit. God knows what goes on. But this this whole fat Albert Hainsworth thing, this could have been resolved way back in April when all this shit started. All it would have taken was just for somebody. For, for Shanahan to basically tell Albert Hainsworth, fuck you, go home, we don't want you. And Bruce Allen will back me up on this. Oh, that's all Shanahan should have said. It didn't happen. Everybody allowed this shit to fester for seven months, and it became a cancer. And it just divided the fan base. I'm telling you, it divided the fan base. I mean, you get people who were saying, we can't, what are you doing? You can't, we, we, we can't win games without him. I said, motherfuckers, we can win with him. Jesus, motherfucking Christ. All right, it's just a new generation of Redskins fans that are just complete and total morons. Unlike me, who, you know, done this 40 some odd years of my Redskins fandom. 
you know, I've made it this long. I've seen everything up, down, and all around. You know, after a while, you get jaded. But that's what happens, fat. That's what happens, Albert. That's what happens when you find out you're a field digger. Uh, in Mass, uh, on Massa Danny Snyder's plantation. You're just a goddamn field digger. That's what you are. I'm not going to apologize for saying it, folks. I'm not. Because I know there's a lot of people that would agree with me. They may not put it in so many words. <laughs> they can agree with me. You know, it's what happens. You, you, you think you're running, you know, you think... Uh, this is a slave uprising. Bullshit. You're just a paid, you're just, you're just an overpaid field digger, Albert. That's what it is. And now you find out the truth. Now you find out. Your persona non grata. I said, your own teammates have now thrown you under the bus. They should have thrown your ass, you know, they put you between a crosshair seven months ago. Turn FedEx Field into fucking Dealey Plaza. I don't know. I, I better get off this tangent, man. I'm starting to really get pissed. So, I don't know if I can move to the poison subject. Uh, quick note on the Caps last night. How do you blow a 4-1 to one lead after two periods against Toronto? Not only do you let them back into this to tie the game, send it in overtime, take it to a shootout. And you fuck up with a shootout. How does this happen? It, it, this, is a, this is an aberration. And this is Michael Newberry, goal. You know, who, it's finally getting it together here. I don't know. Well, that's it. Buff Road's dry. I don't think I can talk anymore. <laughs> so I've left you with enough topics. Uh, you go do what you want. So in the meantime, it is I. Move, goddamn you. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it is I. And I will catch up to you when I feel like doing these videos. So, adios, motherfuckers. Discuss, comment, do what the hell you want. <laughs>